There's a beautiful story in the Muslim tradition about Prophet Moses, that at his time uh, there was a drought, and this is really depicted beautifully in a poem, which I'll omit the Persian lines because I only have two minutes, but um, they said it was a drought at the time of Moses, and continued year after year to the degree that people couldn't even go out to, the, to pray in congregation, and people were suffering, and famine started to appear due to the drought. So finally, everybody went to Moses and said, oh, you're a prophet of God. Let's go out and do the prayer for rain. That may the rain comes and we are alleviated from our trials and tribulations. So they all went out outside the city skirt into the desert and start praying. And as Moses was praying to forgive us, oh, my Lord, send down the rain of mercy. And the people in California, we have experienced drought. And you know how difficult it could be. And so... God says, I will not send down rain because there's a sinner amongst you who is disobeying me while my prophet is in the same city. And Moses said, oh, my Lord, who is the sinner? And he announced to the, to the community that there's a sinner amongst us, and that's why rain is not coming down. So everybody is standing there, and the sinner realized this, he is the reason why rain is not coming down. So Moses is saying, oh my Lord, show me this sinner. I want to know who this is that we are all suffering because of him for years. And the sinner, he does something really amazing. See, he can't run. He can't hide. He's stuck there. But he can't even pray by saying something because everybody would hear him. He can't raise his hand in prayer. He can't move. He doesn't want to be recognized and be humiliated. What does he do? He simply goes to the depth of his soul and prays in that moment. It says, oh, my Lord, please do not humiliate me in front of these people. Please save my dignity. I promise I will change. I will not be a sinner anymore. And as he prays, Moses is saying, show me this man. Who is this man that we are deprived from the reign of mercy? And the tears start to drop from this man, the sinner's eyes, into his cheeks and into his beard. And as Moses is saying, I want to see who this man is, they see clouds coming from all four corners as though they're rushing for a race. And they come and rain started to drop. And one of the great commentators said, before the tear of this sinner hit the ground, the entire earth was wet from the rain of mercy. From the rain of mercy. And Moses said, oh my Lord, you said that there's a sinner. You're not going to send down rain. What happened? And he said, oh Moses, my servant made up with me. My servant, he made up with me. And then he said, can you show me who this man is? I wonder who he is. And God said to him, he said, oh Moses, we didn't unveil him when he was disobeying us. Do you think I'm going to unveil him now that he became my friend? And that is the power of prayer, that it changes, it brings cosmic shifts to the heavens and the earth. That is the power of prayer. But the prayer has to be done from the depth of the heart, with, with, from the depth of your soul. And it doesn't need eloquence. It doesn't need grammar. It needs the grammar of the heart. And if we pray like that, we can bring change. But w let's pray that we become like that man. That we change ourselves first before we preach to others. We bring that change into our families and then into our communities and then into our societies. And as we change, the world will change with us. God bless this nation. God bless our leaders. God bless the inhabitant of the world. And may God make us amongst the people that we pray to him in that day and night and whenever we can from our heart. Thank you and have a wonderful day.